Hi, welcome to No Water River. I'm Renee and I'm pleased to welcome you to the third Poetapalooza, this time for the Poetry Friday Anthology for Science by Sylvia Vardell and Janet Wong. The delightful Buffy Silverman is also joining us today. Author of over 60 nonfiction books for children, Buffy will be sharing her poem, Think of an Atom. Hello, my name is Buffy Silverman. The poems and books that I write are mostly inspired by my interest in science and in nature. One of the reasons that I love to write about the world around us is I'm always learning and discovering new things. When I wrote the poem about atoms that I'm going to share with you today, I learned that with new tools, scientists now have a better idea about what a teeny tiny atom looks like than when I was in school and first learned about atoms. Isn't it a marvel that there's anything as small as an atom in the world? That's what I was thinking about when I wrote this poem about atoms for the fifth grade edition of the Poetry Friday Anthology for Science. Think of an atom. Think of an atom so tiny, so small, a speck of the world, a speck of us all. A speck of the ocean, a speck of a fly, a speck of a mountain, a book, or the sky. Imagine that speck growing wide, growing tall, an atom as large as your school or the mall. The atom looks empty, almost nothing at all, but there in the center, a tiny tight ball of neutrons and protons with mass and with weight. How many of each? For oxygen, eight. Its charges are balanced. A proton adds one. Each electron's a minus, the neutrons add none. Outside of that nucleus, that tight little ball, the electrons are swirling. They're smaller than small, like pieces of dust whizzing through space, a cloud of electrons in a zip-zapping race. An atom is tiny, astoundingly small. Trillions lie here on this dot that I scrawl. Thank you for listening to my poem about atoms. Maybe someday you'll discover something new about the world. And if you do, I hope you'll write a poem about it.